In this video, I'll show you how to use Daisy Trail Support Portal. From here, you can access a range of materials designed to answer your questions, help you get the most out of your software, and also assist with any problems you may be experiencing. You can access this portal by typing the website's address, support.daisytrail.com, into your browser's address bar. Alternatively, from the Daisy Trail website, scroll down the page and click FAQ at the bottom. Here, there are a number of options you can choose from. You can access the knowledge base, where there is a variety of frequently asked questions, how-to and troubleshooting articles. Request one-to-one -one support from Serif's customer service or technical support teams by submitting a ticket. And finally, discuss the software and put your queries to other crafting enthusiasts on the community forum on Daisy Trail. Today, I'll take you on a tour of the knowledge base so you can see just how easy it is to find answers to your questions. Click Knowledge Base on the left to get started. From here, you need to decide whether you want to browse by folder or search. To browse, simply click on a folder where you think your answer could be located. In the Serif Software folder, you'll find a range of articles which cover general, craft artist and digital scrapbook artist issues. The folders inside contain articles designed to help you get to grips with your crafting software and use its tools and features. You can easily get back to wherever you were before by clicking Previous Folder. The other folder, the Daisy Trail Community, contains answers to frequently asked questions about using the Daisy Trail website and managing your Daisy Trail account. Alternatively, if you know exactly what you're looking for, you can try searching instead. First, click Search the Knowledge Base. Now type in keywords relating to your search. Today, I'd like to find out how to change the password on my Daisy Trail account, so I'm going to type Password. If you have an idea where the answer to your question might be, you can narrow down your search by selecting a particular folder. These are the same folders as the ones we looked at earlier. If you're not sure, that's fine. When you're happy, click Search. My search has generated two results. I can see the one I need is right at the top of the list, so I'll select it by clicking on its name. This article is a how-to article. This means it will explain how to do something and will provide instructions on using a particular technique, tool or skill. There are two other types of article. Using the breadcrumbs at the top, let's go back to the main folders and look at these in a little more detail. OK. Here are some FAQs. These are questions asked by users of the software which we have answered and placed here so they can be of benefit to others. The final type of article, Troubleshooting, is designed to offer a simple solution for a basic issue or problem you might encounter when using the software. When you've clicked on an article, you'll find step-by-step -step instructions explaining what to do next. Some articles contain pictures and even links to other videos and help topics where you can find more information. These links will open in a new window so you can keep the support portal open in case you need it for anything else. Don't forget, you can quickly access other areas of the support portal using the links on the left. Before we finish, I'd like to show you how to access some more helpful resources direct from the Daisy Trail website. At the top, click Tutorials. This is the Daisy Trail YouTube channel where you'll find loads of videos to give you hints, tips and inspiration for your craft projects. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and have now got a better understanding of how to use the Daisy Trail support portal. Thanks for watching.